Hi everyone, welcome to day four of our 21 days of prayer as a church. Today's prayer topic is our nation. And I've got a verse here uh, from 2 Chronicles 7, 14 I wanna share with you. It says, then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. If you break this verse down, the scripture says that if you do a few things, certain things will happen and it starts with the word if. Now, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, we can all agree that no matter where we stand politically, we need, to, we need more and more of God uh, in this country. We need Christian leaders to rise up and stand for the truth of God's Word. Not to sound like a politician here, but together we can see change in our nation. But the Bible says, if. So three things I want to challenge you with here is, number one, make prayer a priority over this 21 days of prayer. All of us need to prioritize. We need to put first things first. The second thing is we need to find a place to pray. You need a place to go. You need a safe place where you can get along with God. And the third thing is have a battle plan once you get there. You have to have a plan. In your relationships, there has to be a plan. When you drive your car, there has to be a plan. So let's make these decisions in prayer as we move into a season of getting closer to God. And today we pray for our president, our government, and this great nation that we have the freedom to pray and freedom to express how good God really is.